Yanu Vinaka, good morning. Vinaka. It's Monday morning, the uh, 20th of June, 2022. Yanu Vinaka, you're watching Breakfast at Fiji One. Yes. It's Nani Sentai back with you this uh, uh, Monday morning. Hope you've had a good uh, start to uh, the week already, waking up really early for those of you um, heading off uh, mm -hmm. to work in school this morning. And talking about school, um, this morning we <laughs> have guests um, who are with us this morning and it's a pleasure to have them uh, with us. We talked about it this morning as soon as yeah. we came on the show. Mm. Um, but it's interesting that um, you know we'll be talking to our guests from uh, the Pacific American school okay now a bit about the school this is an international school based in Suva mm -hmm. and it's accredited by the uh, Fiji Education Ministry as of January the 3rd of this year 2022 and this morning we're pleased to have our guest um, and uh, we're talking to the founder and the chairman uh, Chris uh, Jung of the Pacific American School also known as PASS um, as well as the acting principal, Mr. Alipate Muvake, Yandrubinaka, to you both. Yandrubinaka. And thank you so much for coming in this morning. Just to talk to us a bit yes. about um, the um, Pacific American School. And I believe this is uh, situated on uh, Noko Noko, Noko Road. Noko Noko. Rodala Beach State, right? It's <laughs> All right. Yandrubinaka. Uh, maybe, Chris, you can start off this morning and just tell us um, a bit about the school, give us some background information, mm -hmm. and uh, the reason as to why you set mm -hmm. up here in Fiji. Yeah. I think first of all, thank you for giving us the opportunity to introduce yes. our school. Uh, I have been in education field for more than 30 years okay. as a teacher and professor mm -hmm. and college consultant and author of several books mm -hmm. and now founder of a school. Mm -hmm. I also run the, a private school in, successfully in South Korea mm -hmm. and this school has turned out thousands of students mm -hmm. and most of them becoming medical doctors, mm -hmm. engineers and lawyers. And some attended the top universities in the world, mm -hmm. uh, Harvard, Stanford, Yale in the United States, mm -hmm. and Oxford in England, mm -hmm. and some top universities in Singapore, yeah. Hong Kong, and Japan, and South Korea. Mm -hmm. So being an expert in this education field for a long time, mm -hmm. I've decided to apply my hands-on experiences mm -hmm. and know-how mm -hmm. and hard work mm -hmm. to establish Pacific Marine School in Suba as I wish to make a valuable contribution to this beautiful country. Mm. Thank you. Mm. And uh, Chairman Jung, you're the founder and also the chairman. What is the philosophy behind the Pacific American School? Yeah, the philosophy from, uh, my, behind my school, I can say that we actually, we not only help our students uh, to academically successful, mm -hmm. but also we try to do our best, mm -hmm. help them grow up to be very balanced mm -hmm. and well-rounded individuals mm -hmm. so that in the future they will have prosperous and healthy long life and they can make a substantial contribution to the society. Mm -hmm. uh, we offer not only uh, very advanced academic syllabus but also we are providing sports like a golf and tennis yeah. that form a part of our extra secondary curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I believe that some of my, my students by receiving this education in the future I believe they will become great contributor to the world like Bill Gates and right. Steve Jobs or mm. Elon Musk or mm. Marco Zuckerberg. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Uh, Mr. Murake, you're the um, acting principal. Maybe uh, you, know, you can tell us a bit about uh, you know, the school. Uh, um, you know, does it accept students for both uh, primary and secondary school grades? Uh, also, what types of students does uh, your school uh, welcome and accept? Thank you uh, for the first part of uh, your question. Mm. We accept students from grades 1 to 12 mm. which covers both for secondary and primary grades alike yeah. and for the second part of your question yes we uh, welcome students who want to strive for outstanding academic excellence mm. uh, with the uh, w with the um, the target of enrolling into renowned top universities around the around the world mm. yeah uh, can I just ask, like, since um, the school started, how, m how many students are there now in, uh, in the school? Basically, we, we have uh, close to 20 students okay. uh, that we have. And um, um, we are still uh, trying to make the public aware, yeah. uh, especially the country, mm. aware of uh, our school. Yeah. Because currently, uh, most of our students are from abroad. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh, um, uh, most of your students are abroad, but you're welcoming, uh, you know, stu students uh, locally as well. Yes. Eh? Yes. Okay. Uh, you know, does this? Uh, okay, maybe you can tell us a bit about, uh, you know, as acting principal. We know that, uh, you know, having taught for uh, for many years, 
um, and gaining extensive knowledge of teaching uh, Mr. Ngodake in local Fijian schools, um, as well as now getting experience at uh, you know teaching at Pacific American School. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be the benefits for both uh, you know Fijian parents and students who are wa watching this morning? Yes and uh, you know want to send their children to uh, pass uh, you know whether it be uh, for primary or secondary you know what would your advice be to them thank you tai the most beneficial factor that i would suggest to my fijian parents and students would be the curriculum that we offer american curriculum it is and um, the climax of what students learn at our school is actually the sitting for these two standardized examinations mm -hmm. namely the SAT mm -hmm. and the AP exams okay. so this is what uh, makes Pacific American school unique mm -hmm. unique in the sense that uh, we are the only school in the country that uh, uh, gets to to administer these two international uh, examinations yeah. we we have uh, hosted students from international secondary suba and other private uh, school students that have come into, a con uh, into our school mm -hmm. to actually sit for these two examinations. Yeah. And uh, you mentioned SAT, and I mean, watching all these Hollywood movies, you just hear SAT from the movies. Now it's happening right here in our country. Maybe you can just elaborate further on SAT testing and AP subjects to, uh, in uh, PES. Thank you, Nani. <laughs> SAT simply stands for Scholastic Assessment Test. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an admission eligibility exam for enrollment into top renowned universities in the world. Uh, for AP, it's uh, an advanced placement exam. And this uh, examination elevates students' readiness to top university studies. And uh, I would say in a nutshell that uh, with regards to these two standardized examinations, it is the ultimate product of global recognition as well as the university study readiness at its best. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chairman uh, um, Jung, maybe um, you know, any closing comments you'd like to um, you know, talk about or just you know, thoughts that you'd like to share mm -hmm. um, with parents watching this morning that are interested uh, uh, you know, probably in sending their children mm -hmm. eh, um, to um, uh, pass. Any, any words for them this morning? Yeah. Uh, if you parents, you have any plan to send your children in the future overseas, mm -hmm. and send your children to us. Uh, we have a school dormitory. Uh, your parents, you, you, you enjoy your life, and, and we, will do, we will educate your children well mm -hmm. and make them reach their goals. Thank you. And Mr. Novaki? Thank you. Uh, on a final note, I would ask parents who are tuning in this morning, uh, we invite you to send your child to Pacific American School. And I assure you that entrusting us with your child's care is something that you won't regret. Thank you. Okay. Thank and I so believe much, uh, yes. that uh, the school will be having right. um, you know, the 2022 information uh, session eh, next week, uh, mm -hmm. Wednesday. Um, and uh, that's at Lot 40 Noko Noko Road at Lothala Beach. That will be at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, reservations can be made uh, to uh, the number 243-0402. Uh, mm -hmm. Take note of that number again, 243-0402. Or you can email um, PRP... CJE. CJE. That's yeah. PRPCJE at gmail.com gmail. yes. um, by this coming Friday, yes. okay, the 24th of June. Otherwise, there's information also on your website. You also have a Facebook page as well, yep. um, Instagram page where you can go in and find out more about the information uh, session that's going to be happening next week, Wednesday on the 29th. And remember, that's at the school on Friday, uh, sorry, at 4 p.m. next week, Wednesday, but you need to email them by this coming Friday uh, for, for in regards to that. Right? Registration next yeah. week. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. Thank you, John. And uh, we wish you well with uh, the session for next week. Thank you. Thank you. All right, stay with us on breakfast when we come back. We've got more on the way right after this.